Greetings from the land of Canada. My name is Nooch, and I bet that you never thought that you would hear those words again. Or maybe this is the most predictable update video you've ever seen in your life, and I'm completely wrong. Either way, uh, I decided to make a video um, on the one-year anniversary of me quitting YouTube. Just, just to let you guys know what's up, you know, just to, just to give you guys a little insight into what I've been doing with my life since, uh, since I have uh, ceased the YouTubing. But um, basically, I've been hard at work trying to uh, pass school as well as uh, take my hobbies to the next level. And the hobbies that I speak of uh, do involve video games. Like, uh, that's the thing. I actually have been streaming. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of you know this. Uh, some of you may uh, know this, some of you may not, but I actually have a live stream on Twitch. And I've been live streaming only Dota for like uh, not too long now. I mean, uh, since I quit YouTube, I think I've live streamed like maybe a hundred times. I mean, that's generous. That's generous. Like that's triple digits, you know, like that's when you, that's when it starts to get serious. Um, if I really wanted to be like more specific, I could probably give you a real number, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like going into my live streams and just counting all of them that I've done since then. But uh, that's something that some of you might be interested in. So if you guys want to go um, follow my uh, uh, my Twitch stream, it's just Nuchem. It doesn't have the doesn't have the the. Uh, it's Nuchem, and I actually have subscriber emotes for uh, Easy MMR as well as uh, my Instagram uh, profile picture. I have that uh, that little grin that I have as an emote where you can just post that wherever you want if you're subscribed to me. Uh, those are the only two emotes that I have. Uh, f fun fact, t uh, Twitch uh, streaming for Dota doesn't give you that many viewers just from like, uh, just from people stopping by, which is uh, something I'm kind of trying to work on. Like I kind of want to like get that going, you know, just because it's fun. It's actually a lot of fun streaming. I just play some sick music in the background, uh, practice Dota and uh, talk to the stream and that's about it. And it's really cool. But the thing is, like, every time when I'm only getting, like, 20 or 30 viewers, it's not, uh, it's not a career. It's not, uh, <laughs> giving me any sort of income. It's not, uh, providing me with, uh, any sort of lifestyle that you would want to, uh, I guess imitate. But basically, it's just fun. I just like it. It's cool, you know, like, and it's, it doesn't give me the stress that YouTube did back in the day, which I mean, like, right now, it's like, whatever, you know, like, this video, if it goes out, and everybody loves it, and everybody's commenting and everything, because, uh, who knows, who knows, it'll be good, but uh, essentially, like, uh, what else have I done in the past year? Well, I made it to top 200 in Dota, guys, guys, are you, he are you hearing me? Did you, did you, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Top 200. In America, just in America though, just in America, not the world, not the world, but America. So that means from Nunavut to Argentina, that means like all of North and all of South America, I made it to top, what was it, 188? I was 188 on the leaderboards, that was the highest I ever got, and I think I went past that. The highest my MMR has been was 6,501, and uh, that was not too long ago but since then i actually have <laughs> uninstalled dota stop stop streaming whatsoever and even right now i should be doing homework because uh i uh really need to pass my classes like it's kind of at a it's kind of at a uh it's a it's a do or die situation right now so i should be busting my ass for that and um so that means i have to put the the hobbies of being sick at dota and live streaming and even being sick at melee like i mean i, f I play uh, super smash brothers melee at uh i try to i always try to push myself when it comes to playing competitively and i mean i think i'm getting there i think i'm i think i'm doing pretty decent uh there's certain things that hold me back but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna john about them i'm not gonna be like man i don't have godlike reactions i'm not a freaking like whatever like i'm not i wouldn't be the first to admit it but uh i'm not gonna let that stuff hold me back from improving as a player so um i've got that stuff going on which is pretty sweet um and like i don't know i don't know what else to say a year's a long time a lot of stuff happens in a year so uh, i think that's more the stuff that 
you guys would be interested in more than anything just because I've made so many Dota videos in the past and I may have mentioned in a couple of my videos about uh, uh, me playing Melee, which is pretty cool. But uh, school's been tough. School is like really like rough. Like I don't know how many of you guys are in college, but it's uh, it's no joke. It's no joke. You really need to you really need to like buckle down and like get your shit together. You know, like you get it all in a bag and you just, you just get it together. And then just like you can take it and you can go to go to a store and you can sell it. As you can go to the shit store and you can sell your shit. I don't know. I'm trying to quote. I'm trying to quote Rick and Morty right now. And it's not working. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm trying to quote Rick and Morty, but it's impossible because that show has so many amazing quotes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show, but it's prime, honestly. And it, they're going to be making new um, uh, episodes this uh, this summer. So right now it's like season three. That's season three, and they've made the first episode on April Fools, which nobody believed. They were like, "This is bullshit," but they're like, "No, we said in a year and a half, and it just so happens that the year and a half landed on April Fools." So guess what, guys? This is where we're at. <laughs> this is exactly where we're at, and uh, that's also a good show. I highly recommend it to everybody. Amazing show. On uh, other news. Gorillaz is coming out with a new album, my favorite band ever. Their new songs that they've released, all their singles, are sick. They're amazing. I'm actually looking at a poster right now that I have in my room. It's so cool. By the way, I have no idea what footage I'm going to be using on the background of this. I haven't decided on anything. Like, I didn't want to do a face cam. I didn't want to do, like, a vlog type of style just because, like, I don't know. I'm in my pajamas. My hair is wet from a shower. Like, I look unappealing to an audience let's just put it that way so i'll put like anything at the background like i don't i'm not sure what i would do i would decide on something uh if it's portal again then that's sick if it's dota that's also pretty sick um i don't really want to spend too much time editing it because i actually really got to do my homework and this video is incredibly last minute i didn't put any sort of uh time and energy into making a script about what I want to talk about. I'm just sort of winging it. The way that I always do, the way that I've always made my videos, it's always just been 100% improvised. And, you know, that's just, that's just good. That's just, always, that's just always good. So, uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to make this video 10 minutes. So I've got around two more minutes of just rambling about zilch, but nothing. I just want to give you guys like an update that I still exist. I still am present in the uh world you know like nothing nothing ridiculous has happened to me or will happen to me hopefully um regardless i don't know like that's some doom and gloom that's like some uh that's some uh, pessimistic uh topic that i don't really want to go into but uh um oh yeah okay all right all right story time I, uh, okay, okay. I, I just want to say there was one time, there was one time that I wanted to make a video right after I quit. It was like a week after I quit and I wanted to make a video right then and there about it because it freaked me out so much. It actually like, it scared me so bad and like I was pretty much in shock. Like, I don't know. Like it was crazy. Basically what happened is I was at a melee tournament and um, I played to like 12 at night like the venue stayed open and we all were playing friendlies and stuff and it was pretty cool and then all of this is in downtown montreal and i live on uh i live like half an hour drive from downtown montreal so i hop into my car and i'm driving on the highway and it's it's late at night and we're, i'm on the highway and i see headlights in front of me and the headlights are growing bigger so it's not like the guy stopped he's actually just going 80 in the opposite direction in the highway and there's nobody else on the road it's just me and him so the first thought that went through my head is oh shit this is like a like a an ambulance or like a police officer or something like that that they wanted to take a shortcut so that they can um get to where they're going faster because there's like a desperate times call for desperate measures situation going on but it really wasn't it was just some psycho driving in the opposite direction on a highway going 80 so literally i just drove a little bit to the side and he went right by me and i just i swear to god i looked in my mirror and i saw uh dust just from when he spun out just right behind me and my mouth was agape for the whole rest of the ride so like 20 minutes 25 minutes i'm just my mouth wide open. I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy shit. 
I could have died. <laughs> if that was some guy trying to fucking kill himself and just like driving straight at other cars, there's nothing stopping him from turning into me because like I wasn't last second turning it out. That wasn't like the plan. Like I actually just went to the side and stayed in that lane and was like, what the hell is this guy going to do? You know, it was terrifying. And like, I don't know. That was, uh, that was pretty, that was pretty scary. I don't think there is <laughs> many times where people have been in that sort of situation. So, uh, I don't know. That's, uh, that's, I guess, uh, the story of this, uh, of this video. But, um, I'm not sure guys. Like, uh, I, I, who, who knows? I, I, I kind of miss YouTube. That's one of the reasons why I've made this video. I miss, uh, I miss the, the fans feedback. I miss reading comments sometimes. Sometimes, like, I don't know, YouTube comments still get, still get to me sometimes. Like, it's crazy. You go on Twitter, you go on Reddit, and you read what these people type like publicly to everybody and most of the time it's jovial stuff most of the time it's people trying to be clever most of the time it's people trying to be like funny and get a laugh and just overall charismatic but like on youtube there's no there's no like there's no like sense of that everybody just wants to like bite at each other's throats and i don't know what it all i don't know what it's all about but uh most youtube comments are not friendly which i mean hopefully uh in the future, they can make some sort of, I don't know, I think it'd be cool. Maybe if YouTube implements some sort of uh, feature to comments that would increase like the the motivation to write positive comments instead of saying, literally, I literally got this comment yesterday because uh, they just started implementing like a, a notification system for, for YouTube for whenever somebody posts a comment, you see it in the top right. And um, someone literally just posted, I hate you, Nooch. And I was like, what? the fuck you wrote this on my i'm leaving youtube video what is wrong with you like that's messed up so i just removed the comment i was like i don't want to look at that i don't want that on my video that's disgusting that's like that hurts my feelings that makes me not want to make an update video that's like like god damn it who does these things like you're just making my day worse so don't do that <laughs> like i don't care if you hate me take it out on something else oh god like what if they made a a system where it's like if you get upvotes in your in, on your comment like like you don't just get top comment anymore because the thing is there's top comment and then there's like maybe some sort of what would it be though like they need to make it so that people write comments and they get like rewarded for it somehow and it's more of an incentive to not be such a dick <laughs> so Anyway, uh, I think that's going to be, but, but that's the thing, like most of the, most of the comments were amazing. I actually loved reading the feedback in, uh, on my, on my going away video. It was amazing. Everybody was so amazing. Like I actually just like everybody, I did not expect that sort of reaction. I actually did not expect for everybody pretty much. It was like a 99% consensus of people being like, dude, I'm happy for you. This is amazing. Good luck in the future good shit honestly you you did your best you were doing great and everything and we completely understand and it's like that's all i ask that's all i ask that's literally just like my favorite that's just so good and i don't know like that's like i didn't I, that's that's one of the things like i i couldn't we couldn't have ended it on a better note which is why like i just wanted to make this update video just because it's cool just because i can because i want to and like i don't know it, it's uh and it's, it's it's just that you know like we could I could have ended it and and like uh, this doesn't take away from it whatsoever because um I don't know I, this isn't my I'm coming out of retirement and making YouTube videos again video it's just like what's up guys we still cool right we still cool uh, what if I don't know it's just just uh, let me know what you guys uh, think uh, this video in the comments which what, what you think of the principle um, what you think of uh, how I've made this video after a year of not of inactivity like is it is it too random is it fitting uh do do, do people like kind of do this a lot like I don't know anyway I hope you guys all enjoyed regardless that's the that's the main thing uh hope some sort of positive reactions were created uh, off of this uh of this video and uh regardless i uh hopefully hopefully i'll get to see you guys in the future maybe you'll stop by my stream maybe i won't be baby raging at my team and getting like tilted and shit but who knows that stuff happens you know when you're very passionate about a game and dumb shit starts happening you get demoralized and you know you need to vent about it you can't just bottle it all in you know you just and that's just it but I, that's also something i need to work on i, I do have 
uh, on occasional fit of rage <laughs> when I'm playing Dota. So um, hopefully that's not too unappealing. Because <laughs> I, I don't know, I find that when people do stuff like that, sometimes it's funny. Which I mean, I guess uh, I should probably try to spin in a comedic way if I'm going if I'm going for that angle. But anyway, I think I've uh, rambled on a bit too much already. But uh, who knows? Maybe it's good. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoy it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you in a year, maybe. <laughs> maybe sooner. Who knows? I can't tell the future. Peace out, guys. Later.